everybody, this is Tambiota and you're watching the Daily Review. So today we have Power of the Primes Terracon Cutthroat. So he's actually supposed to be a heavy retool of Dinobot Swoop. So uh, we'll get into that, take a look at it. You can kind of tell a little bit by uh, just the wings and, 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 and such. So, but yeah, uh, once we get into this, we'll take a look at that and uh, see how much of that is uh, is the case. So you can see the figure here. Um, you can see him in his uh, his monster mode, and then you can see him here in his robot mode, and then another picture of him in his, uh, his little monster mode, uh, along with his weapons and his prime armor. And you come back here, and you can see him. Uh, it says that he takes 11 steps to transform. His prime armor goes on his back and his chest. Uh, some more of the prime masters that are in this line uh so this one basically it's the same thing so how will the merciless terracon shock trooper wield the power of the primes so it's not really it's not really like it's giving us anything um anything important it's just how will they uh, uh wield the power of the primes so yeah let's uh go ahead and get this guy open so we can check them out. All right, so we're back and here we have Cutthroat out of his packaging and in his robot mode. Um, now this is the mode that he comes in and I already see that there are some issues, at least with mine. And it has to do with the head, this head right here. Um, now mine already has two issues with it. Um, let me go in here. So where it connects, see it, it pulls off super easily. This joint right here is super tight and this joint right here is just a friction type clip on joint. Uh, now you have that, but then you also have this piece right here. So this piece right here, which is like the crest, it rises up and it goes to about that far. So that's not the issue. Now the issue is when you try to push it back down, when you push it back down, it didn't do it, but it, it, it came undone uh, basically. And every time you transform this guy or every time I transform mine, I'm gonna have to push it back in there um, to have it have it clipped in uh, now whenever I do that then the mouth falls off so there's just a lot of issues I think that these should have been pinned uh, to keep them from popping off and that's my opinion so every time I transform this thing I'm probably gonna have to reattach the head um, I have a feeling probably five years down the road, um, a lot of these pieces are going to be missing, um, especially with kids. Um, so this stuff is going to be long gone by then. Uh, so let's see here. There we go. do that right yeah it's on there I think there we go all right so um, we'll go ahead and go into articulation so a lot of things I've noticed already are very reminiscent of um, of uh, of um, of swoop swoop yeah, swoop uh, with his arms, uh, the way that his wing mechanism is, um, where it's pinned in here, and then you have the ability to swipe the wings back, like they are right now, where they're kind of folded backwards. Um, not really sure about this. I don't remember how this was in, in uh, with swoop, but I don't have swoop anymore, so I'm not really sure. But, um, 
Yeah, his articulation, uh, he has a ball joint on the head. Uh, it doesn't seem to move a lot. It just moves, it seems to move left and right. You have a ball joint for the arm. You go forward, you can go back, but it's hindered by these wings. You can go out to the side. There's the twist right below it. The elbow right there. And uh, you come to the wings. The wings have this ability to pivot like that. Uh, you can do this, you can do that. So you have a lot of um, range of motion in the wings, I guess you could say. Uh, you come down here to the hips. You got a twist right here. Uh, that's the waist, I'm sorry. The hips, you can go forward, you can go back, kind of. It seems to be hindered by some of the, uh, some of the leg. Uh, out to the side. Uh, you have the uh, twist right underneath there and your knee bend and that's a pretty pretty deep knee bend right there and that's about it so I must say that there's a lot of nice color on this guy um, from the the greens to this blue right here, this teal blue. I, I like I've said before. I I don't know for some reason I'm a sucker for these teal blue. Um, okay, so we tell. So he does come with a couple of things inside of uh, his package. He has his um, his instructions. He has his card here. Um, let's see who we have them. Um, with uh, Onyx Prime, he has his uh, his Prime armor, and it will uh, clip up in the front just like Swoops does. Uh, so basically, you would flip this forward, and then take and tab these in like this. Because if you look, there are the uh, the indentions on here, but I don't want to try to tab that in because I know the head's just probably going to fall right off. Uh, but you basically you do this. See, oh, I was able to do it. So, okay, cool. Come on. Come off. Okay. All right. And then we have his uh, his gun. So, we have this. All right. All right. And uh, also, I guess if you wanted to, you can also um, store it on his back with these two tabs. like that so let's go ahead and take a little bit of a break we're gonna be right back in just a moment and we'll have him in his monster bird mode all right so we're back and here we have cutthroat in his chicken mode <laughs> and this is what I'm calling it because he looks like a big chicken um, so yeah you can open and yeah this is not, you can open and close his mouth. Uh, you can make the head move up and down, but it it wants to fall off most of the time. Uh, now with the wings, you can flap them, so you can do this kind of stuff. I'm just waiting for that head to fall off. Uh, you can bring these wings in and out. It's cool, he's gonna kinda got a tail here. Uh, his legs, it's a pin, so you can move it forward and back, and then you have another pin, so you can move these pieces forward and back. Um, now, for his prime armor and his weapons, um, and take the prime armor, and, I'm sorry, I'm doing it the wrong way. Uh, you can attach it to his back. Um, I'm not doing this right. I need to bend it one like that. Yeah, I think that's it. So, like that. And uh, then you can take this gun right here. I don't know, can you do that at the same time? Maybe? 
That's where it goes. That's where it clips in right there. Uh, I guess if you have the prime armor on, then you can just flip this around and just have it into his, uh, into his thumb. So you can tab that into his thumb like that. Uh, but if, uh, if, if you don't want the prime armor on, then you flip it upside down and see there's a little smaller peg right here and that'll peg into the bottom of the wing right here. So that weapon can go right there then. All right, time to have some chicken fights. All right, it's gonna be uh, kind of a rock'em sock'em type fight. If uh, first one that gets his head knocked off loses, so I have a I have a feeling that uh, Cutthroat will lose every single time. Or at least mine will. All right. Well, that's pretty much going to be it for uh, this this review of Cutthroat. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know why you haven't. Go ahead and subscribe now. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Tambiota. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to show you how to transform them. Thanks for watching.